hello hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is simply grace and if you're not new here welcome back thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video if you saw the title then you would know today's video is a full face of dupes tell me which side do you think is the high end and which side do you think is the low end you can't tell can you keep watching to find out which products are which all right welcome back to my channel you guys as i said in the intro i will be doing a full face of dupes the main thing that i didn't have a dupe for was my eyebrows so i went ahead and i did that and i don't have an eyeshadow primer dupe so i just went ahead and i primed my eyelids so i'm gonna go ahead and do half of my face with high end half of my face with drugstore we're gonna start with our primers um it is the milk hydro grip so the milk hydro grip is more like a grippy hydrating primer and this hydrating primer from hard candy is literally the same they are even the same color so i'm gonna go ahead and do half and half so i'm gonna take like half a pump on this side and then half a pump see how it's like green too on this side they literally feel the same. Nice and cooling, like hydrating. It feels pretty amazing. These two foundations, okay? They both are very hydrating and glowy and just good coverage as well. This is the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the shade 260. And then this is the Born to Glow NYX Foundation in the shade Medium Olive. I'm not sure if they're gonna match but we're gonna do half and half. So I'm gonna start with Fenty. The only thing that I don't like about the NYX foundation is that it does not have a pump. So Fenty has a pump and that is very convenient. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and you see how it doesn't have a pump? I don't like that, but oh! And this is mainly the reason why. So a lot comes out, a lot comes out. I'm gonna go ahead and go get me a little wipe because I highly doubt I need that much. I'm gonna use this deep pink on this side and the light pink on the other side. What I've noticed with the Pro Filter is that it dries a lot faster, but it's definitely still manageable. Like covered up my redness and any spots that I might have right now. So it is really good coverage. NYX also has pretty dang good coverage, as you can see. Um, the NYX one is gonna be a little darker. The only thing I'm noticing is a little bit more hydration and glow from the NYX side, which is kind of surprising because the Fenty Beauty one claims to be a hydrating foundation. I have cream bronzer. I love me some cream bronzer. Um, if you see a little hand here, it's my son. Uh, but this is the Fenty Beauty cream bronzer in the shade Macchiato. This is a very easy to blend formula and it's literally the perfect color. This, this is the Elf Putty Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Golden Days. Literally, basically the same shade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I love the Elf Putty Bronzer because it's very easy to work with but it's pigmented enough. This is the e.l.f. and then this is the Fenty. Up next, you guys, is cream blush. So lately, I have really been into my cream products because they just work better with my skin. Um, the cream blush uh, dupe that I have is the Cream Fenty Blush. So this is Petal Poppin' from Fenty. It is gorgeous, stunning shade, if I can open it. Um, this is the shade. And then I have the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. Look at those shades, you guys. Pretty much almost the same. This one has a little bit of an orangey tint to it, but I feel like on the skin, they're not gonna look that much different. So on one side, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty. I also feel like the e.l.f. blushes and bronzers, they have like a powdery finish. So if you don't wanna set your face, you don't have to. Fenty has a very forgiving formula. Like if you apply too much, you can definitely blend it out. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush and I'm just gonna apply this little putty blush with it. This brush is actually very, very good and very affordable. 
you need like a brush to use with your cream products this works so well also it has a concealer side to it like a small brush and I really really like that here's the Fenty and here's the elf what do we think okay so for powder I'm gonna show you guys this now because I like to set my under eyes really quickly um, I'm gonna be taking the easy bake Huda Beauty powder in the shade pound cake and then I'm gonna take the fit me loose powder in the shade fair light these claim to be a dupe and I really love my Huda Beauty powder it is very smoothing and just very um, finely milled it just helps me with my skin looking like velvety smooth so I really like that now if this is a dupe oh girl we're gonna save some money so I'm gonna go ahead and set these to the side I'm gonna take two different concealer brushes and apply my concealer I have heard I haven't tried this but I'm definitely super excited to figure out if this is true the next dupe that I have found was this concealer you guys this was my favorite concealer since the moment I bought it it was so so good very hydrating very smoothing it looks really good under the eyes and it also doesn't crease on me so I really enjoy that this is perfect right then comes the NYX concealer this is the NYX bear with me concealer serum the NYX concealer has been like one of my top favorites lately so if I'm reaching for concealers normally I'm reaching for these two these two are definitely bomb.com highly recommend um, the price difference is pretty significant so um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these Kosa's on the left and NYX on the right I personally love when these have applicators like this because it makes it a lot easier you saw as I was able to just apply it but the next one doesn't have one so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with this brush right here the next concealer has just been very lightweight easy to blend doesn't crease on me stunning the only difference that I am gonna notice is the shade right now the Kosa's runs a little yellow a lot of people don't like that so if you don't like that try the next one um, but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these blend them in with my sponges high and low end okay so not to set the rest of my face I'm gonna take these two powders right here this is the Charlotte Tilbury air brush flawless finish the shade number two um, when I purchased this I thought this was the perfect shade but I think I should have gotten shade one because I like to use that under my eyes sometimes this is the NYX can't stop won't stop fine powder this is in the shade light I'm gonna go ahead and use this all over my face with a clean brush on this side beautifully mattified and also it helps you know maintain the texture so I really like that so I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury. This powder is very flawless as well. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow now. So I'm going to take the Modern Renaissance palette and this Wet n Wild palette. Tell me these colors don't look almost identical. I feel like they look a lot identical. So I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here. I do not know the name, but this one, which is like a purpley color. I'm going to go ahead and take that on a clean, fluffy brush. I'm going to put this one down and I'm going to grab a different fluffy brush and I'm going to apply this purpley shade right here. The Anastasia, I'm not going to lie, is a little bit more pigmented but it's also a little bit more powdery so pink and choose which one you like more. I'm going to go ahead and just apply the shimmer which I'm thinking this one right here looks identical to Primavera right here. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that with a flat shader brush. This one's for Anastasia. I might end up doing a little bit of brown on the outer corner just to add more dimension to the look. I'm going to go ahead and take a clean fluffy brush, smaller than the first, and use this deep brown right here on the Anastasia side. Wet n Wild brushes are super good, you guys. I'm going to take this brown right here. Put it on the outer crease. I'm going to take this flat shader brush to apply this shade right here, which is the shimmer. This is so much fun! 
Oh my goodness, dupes are fun. I'm gonna start doing these more often, but look at the eyeshadow. I feel like the Wet n Wild has a little bit more of a golden hue to the glitter. Um, the Primavera shade from the Anastasia is a little bit more of a champagne -y shade, but other than that, you guys, the eyeshadow looks absolutely the same, honestly. So, win-win. Okay, you guys, so um, I think I found another dupe. This is the Maybelline Curl Bounce Colossal Mascara, and I have it on this eye. I didn't think I was gonna find a dupe, so it should have been on this side, but take my opinion right now. This is low end, this is high end, but mascara wise, we're backwards. Um, this is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. This is the Rare Beauty Mascara. Let's see, I think they're a dupe to be honest. The only thing that I find different on these is the formula for the Rare Beauty Mascara is more wet. I think I found a dupe. I'm not joking. So Maybelline Rare Beauty. Don't they look identical? I think they look identical. I'm just gonna take the purpley shades really quickly and just put those under the eyes. I'm gonna take this one for Anastasia, which is the one I originally used. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips now. Um, this is the Marillo Twins Lip Liner in the shade Ma, which is a really pretty brown. And then this is the Kylie Jenner, what shade is this? Kylie Jenner Iced Latte. So look at these shades, you guys. They look like they would be a little different, don't they? I'm gonna swatch them for you. This is Kylie Jenner, and then this bottom one is Marula Twins. Not that much of a difference. I feel like they're both equally smooth and long wearing. I'm gonna take these two shades right here. This is the Milani Tease lipstick. Very pretty packaging, affordable drugstore, pretty shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right quick for you. That's Tease. And this is Velvet Teddy from MAC. So this is an oldie but a goodie. These are very similar, you guys. Not the same, but very similar. In formula, how they feel. Um, Velvet Teddy has a pinker hue, and then Tease has a more brownie hue, but they're pretty much the same in formula. So that's the lips. What do you think? Pretty dang close, to be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. For the affordable side, I'm taking the Millennium Make It Last. And then for the high end, I'm gonna take the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. So that's both sides nice and set. They look glowy, but they still look like they're gonna last all day. Both of these setting sprays on their own are amazing and they last all day. So I have tried those on their own. I'm gonna go ahead and do a gloss with you guys real quick. Fenty Beauty has one of the best gloss formulas on the high-end market. These are stunning. This is the shade Fenty Glow. This is her original gloss. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. These, you guys, are literally the same. This is the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline in the shade Topaz. Like Topaz Fenty Glow. So it looks like Fenty Glow is a little lighter, but on the lips, it looks the exact same. All right, you guys, there you have it. That's a full face of dupes for you guys. Honestly, if you're a baddie on a budget and you want the high-end side, girl, go to Walmart and Ulta and get you these products because they're gonna give you the same exact thing. All right, you guys, so that was the end of today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I honestly did. It's my first time ever doing dupes and this was so much fun. I didn't realize how good drugstore makeup was becoming and how close of products you could find. So what do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of today's video. What do you think about the dupes? Are you going to pick them up? Have you tried these products? Definitely leave me a comment, give me a like, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe. Girl, it's free and you get to join my cute little family here on YouTube. But yeah. Nonetheless, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.